A very good morning. You're watching News 9 with me, Deepak. And first up, a biker met with a fatal accident, near fatal accident in Bengaluru late last night. And the victim has been identified as 25 year old Kiran, who was knocked down by a water canter. Now, the incident took place near the Yashwantpur bus stop last night. And he was carrying a bottle of blood for his friend who was admitted in the Sumati hospital when the accident took place. Now, Kiran has been admitted to the Columbia Asia Hospital for treatment. A case has also been registered by the Yashwantpur police. Now, this is the particular bike in which Kiran was traveling. 25-year-old Kiran was carrying blood for his friend who has been admitted in the Sumati hospital. He was hit by this particular water tanker which is on your screen. Happened late last night and Kiran has been shifted to the Columbia Asia hospital for treatment. Now, the Yashwantpur traffic police have registered a complaint on this regard. The accident almost fatal for this young lad from Bengaluru. He's been identified as 25-year-old Kiran who was knocked down by a water canter near the Yashwantpur bus stop. He was carrying a bottle of blood for his friend who was admitted at the Sumati hospital when the accident took place. Now, Kiran himself has landed himself in the hospital. He's being treated at the Yashwantpur's Columbia Asia Hospital. Of course, the Yashwantpur traffic police lodging a complaint. This by KA02 A9120. That's the bike which crashed into the water tanker. Well, trouble has mounted for MLA Vijayanand and Rowdy Sheeta Somashekar Agauda. The city civil court yesterday rejected the duo's anticipatory bail plea, citing that the charges are serious and cannot be taken lightly. Now, following this, the cops have launched a manhunt for Somashekar Agauda as he failed to appear before them even after accepting the notice. Now, the Tamil Nadu CCB cops, in a joint operation with the Karnataka police, have joined the manhunt. Now, meanwhile, the MLA might not be arrested as he has appeared for questioning. Now, Vijayanand Kashapanavar and Somashekar Gowda are accused of assaulting two policemen at the Sky Bar about last week during his 42nd birthday party. Now, the Central Crime Branch Police, however, said they will not arrest Kashapanavar immediately as he is cooperating with them in the probe. So, bad news for both the MLA and his aide Somashekar both of them face arrest as their anticipatory bail plea has been rejected by the city civil court. However, the advocate went on to say that he will move the high court in this regard. Today, the Honorable City Civil Court and City Civil Court and Sessions Court has rejected the anticipatory bail filed by Mr. Vijayananda Kashapanar and Somshekara Gowda. What the reason? I think uh, the court has considered their antecedents. Hence, they have rejected the uh, prayer of uh, Vijayananda Kashapanar as well as Somshekara Gowda because they are both the petitioners, they are facing a uh, few criminal cases. That's how they might have rejected the prayer of uh, petitioners. Next option. Next option is we will challenge this order before the Honorable High Court tomorrow itself. Now, Hyderabad is also known as the Pearl City, but the city will now get a new nickname. What is this all about? Here's a report. Drug mafia thriving in Hyderabad. The new drug capital of South India. Drugs worth 10 crore seized. Many would call Hyderabad the capital of Simandra and Telangana. But the cops would definitely want to give it a new name. The city is emerging as the new drug capital of South India. The twin cities, Hyderabad and Sikandrabad, has become the hub for drug peddling. One can find innumerable sheds and settlements selling drugs illegally on the outskirts of the twin cities. The cops recently raided one such settlement on the outskirts of Hyderabad and were shocked when they saw an entire laboratory with all the equipments necessary for processing and manufacturing drugs. The cops seized equipments and drugs worth 10 crore rupees. The drug racket has been going on for a long time now and there are two people who have been running this successfully, Fayaz Ahmad Rasool and Rafiq. One might wonder how did the duo manage to get their hands on such complex equipments. 
Well, the second accused, Rafiq, works in a pharmaceutical company in Mumbai and has been shipping all the discarded equipments to this place. The duo were arrested and were behind bars for a long time. Once released, Rafiq refused to be part of this racket. But Fayaz continued with the drug racket since he wanted to make more money. When narcotics police raided the place the second time, they could get their hands on drugs and equipments. Fayaz had already managed to vanish from the scene. With the latest seizure, Hyderabad police now hope that it will work as a deterrent to others involved in the drug racket. Ramat Kanjagar for News 9, Hyderabad. Now, a missing tender coconut vendor was found following a News 9 report on the incident. Now, the absconding driver too has been nabbed. Take a look. Your channel had reported on a tender coconut vendor being hit by a speeding car on Shimoga Tirthali Highway on the 1st of this month at 4 p.m. He was identified as 45-year-old Vasant. Vasant went missing thereafter. Our report helped villagers of Siddhapura identify Vasant, who was found abandoned in a field in the village in Badravati Taluk. They also admitted him to a hospital. The driver of the car which had hit Vasant was absconding. He has now been arrested and confessed to his crime. The car which had caused the accident was traced in Nellamangala. The driver also told the police that fearing arrest, he and his friends had carried Vasant to Badravati and abandoned him in a deserted place. The driver's friends have still not been traced. July cycle Vasant was shifted to Shimoga District Hospital. Doctors there said he was severely injured and suspected that he could also be partially paralyzed. He has been rushed to Manipal Hospital in Udupi. The Tunganagar police have registered a case against the car driver and his friends. As Vasant was the only earning member of his family, they are worried about how they will pay for the treatment. Basavaraj Araganavi, News 9, Shimoga. Now, the Raibak Tasildar who was recently suspended has got himself into more trouble as all his scams are being exposed one after the other. Here's a report. Shivanand Sagar, the former Tahsildar of Raibagh, was recently suspended from service on charges of financial irregularities in supply of drinking water through tankers in Raibagh district. The suspended Tahsildar has now entered fresh controversies. According to the 1978 Act, it is illegal to sell land allotted by the government to scheduled caste. Shivanand is accused of illegally selling the land allotted to the scheduled caste community. And how did he do this? He created no objection certificates with the help of other corrupt officials, including the village accountant, revenue inspector, and FDA officers. This act of the Tehsildar came to light after a minor mistake was committed by the scamster. Shivanan took charge as the Tehsildar of Rai Bagh on 25th of June in 2012. But no objection certificate for selling the land was signed by him on the 12th of December 2011, which was even before his nomination as the Tehsildar. Villagers are now demanding strict investigation into the corrupt activities of the Tehsildar and they are demanding the arrest of this corrupt Tehsildar. Srikanth Kubakadi, News 9, Belgaum.